Nicole, you say that you have a problem with bad breath. I do. It's just, I get dry mouth, and it's been something dry since mouth. I was a teenager. Yep, a lot of people have this. Yeah, so yeah. 50, Let me get on the other side. 50 million Americans suffer from bad breath. And people erroneously think that it's due to not brushing your teeth or due to cavities or gum disease. Reality, it actually, isn't. it is not. It's actually due to bacteria that grow way in the back of our tongue. And it's called anaerobic bacteria. And these bacteria produce what we call volatile sulfur odors. These bacteria are actually very similar to the bacteria we have in our intestines, believe it or not. Wow. And as we know, that and bacteria... And we all have them. And that bacteria produces odor, too. Right. So people get this bacteria in the back. We don't all have it. Only certain people who have, have actual it. halitosis have it. It creates this terrible odor, and people find that it really affects every part of their daily life. There are treatments now to treat this, this bacteria, okay? Because the best way to treat, then... Uh, this halitosis is not just to brush your teeth more, but to actually scrape off and get rid of the bacteria in our, in our mouth. And so we're going to have her use a ProFresh system, and that's um, all of this stuff right here. So you have to sc scrape the back of your mouth? That's, that's where the it The back lives? of your tongue. The so back has, of your tongue. Yeah, it has two main factors. Number one, you actually do a tongue scraping. So you right. take a device like this, you grab your tongue, you stick it out as far as you can and scrape the back to get rid of those bacteria that are producing that foul gotcha, odor. Gotcha. And you can also use a mouth rinse that we have in these cups called chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide actually will destroy the bacteria as well as get rid of that foul sulfur smell. So you have to do both or could you just do the rinse? You have to do both. Gotcha. Now the chlorine dioxide, very powerful. We actually use it in waste treatment plants. Oh my gosh. So if it's strong enough for a waste treatment plant, it should be strong enough for bad breath. And how often a day would she have to do that? Once every morning? Is that enough? Or? Uh, it's twice a day. Twice so you a day. Start... So you brush your teeth, basically. Exactly. So you want to start, we're going to have her do it here in a second, but you want to do that, then afterwards brush your teeth, floss your teeth. Uh, Brush your tongue, brush the other parts of the inside of your mouth as well. And that's how you can really get rid of bad breath, 99% effective wow. cold brush in getting rid of bad breath. And reasonable? Are these treatments reasonable? The, the, the you can buy it online, $40 get? to $50. Yeah, and, and how you long just would that last? Uh, that should last a few months. That's yeah. great. And people are finding that they can see a result very, very quickly. That's great. Okay. So now the helimeter here, it, it's going to give us a number of just how bad her breath is. If the number is higher than about 40 or 50, it means she has bad breath. Mm -hmm. Now, I got up at 5 a.m. I brushed my teeth this morning, but I haven't brushed it since then. I tested on myself, and I tested 40. Right. So we'll see where she is. Now, I don't think I have bad breath, but... I just had a cup of strong coffee. I'd blow the thing up. <laughs> All right, here we go. So go ahead and put it in your mouth. And we're going to watch this number go up right here. So we're at 14, 19, 28, 40, 54, 72, 90, 109, 125, 139, 156. I've never seen a, a score this high. <laughs> She's uh, right around 150. 156, yeah. She's yeah, sort so of hovering. Anything over about 40 or 50 is considered bad breath. So she's got that issue. So that she's we're got seeing. the is issue. She ends at 174. Mm. You were born special with them little critters. That's all. That's all. You just got little critters. So, so show her how to use this quickly. Okay, so you want to rinse with this for 10 seconds. So go ahead and just put it in your mouth. And you want to just don't drink it, just kind of rinse it around. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you want to lean your head back, stick your tongue out, and gargle with it. Oh dear. Uh, go. And you're supposed to do it for ten seconds, but for time's sake, let's go ahead and have you spit it out. Okay. There you go. And here's a tongue scraper. <laughs> okay. And now you want to scrape the back of your tongue as far as you can get without gagging yourself. <laughs> stick your tongue out, and you want to okay. scrape it six times back to front, and then go ahead and rinse it. And we'll just have you do one more time for the okay. sake of time here. There you go. But you know what? So you're getting back and you can see it'll what get we're getting. It'll get easier the longer. This is all that bacteria yep, that we're getting the, in here. The more you do this, the easier it'll get. And, and at least there's more. a solution, right? Exactly. And then one more quick I've rinse here. I've tried everything. So this will this will help. Mouthwash products, toothpaste. I have to constantly chew gum and eat mints just to have this, that fresh breath. This will fix it. Yay, we fixed it. <laughs>